All right, what's good, everybody? Uh, this is like my 400th time making fucking compost tea, but I'm back at it again with a more legit setup this time. Um, got a little air pump here with uh, some tubing and an air stone, so I can actually do it without that fucking giant air compressor. So I'll start off by just plugging that in, getting the air stone in there. Um, this thing was only like $12. And then this tubing right here was about three dollars, um, and this big ass air stone was another three dollars. So whole setup was about twenty bucks. Um, this water's already been sitting for like a couple days, so the chlorine's already out of it. But uh, as you can see, it's bubbling there. It's not the not the most power I've seen. Um, that air compressor was probably about a hundred times more powerful, if not more. Um, but this should be okay. Um, yes, yeah, that's a that's a good a good amount of air coming out of it. Um, I got even more stuff, I guess. Put into my tea now. Um, I'll start off with uh, worm castings, just right here. I'll stick like uh, probably a few handfuls in this strainer bag right here. And then, see the other shit I got is um, see just molasses to start off, just to feed the bacteria. Uh, Floralicious Plus, which is just another good uh, ingredient to aerate before you put into your, uh, uh, before you feed your plants with it, I should say. Um, has a bunch of stuff in it, I don't know. It's supposedly organic, so um, just use a little bit of that. And then uh, Diamond Nectar, which is a uh, humic acid. Um, it seems like it's kind of watered down a lot, but uh, this is supposed to be like the smallest form um, of humic acids, which is basically fulvic acid because it's, um, it's been broken down more, but um, yeah, basically the same thing. I just don't really like this stuff because it's so watered down. Um, I've seen some other humic acids that are really like thick and black, um, particularly the Humboldt one, which is about uh, 8%. Um, so I don't know how that compares with this, but this is supposed to be some pretty good stuff um, as far as for, uh, for plants. Um, the other stuff I have is uh, Organic Hair Cplex, which is just liquid seaweed. Uh, Maxi Crop is the same shit. Um, but yeah, this stuff's supposed to be good for, uh, making tea with. It's another thing that feeds the bacteria. I think it feeds the, uh, fungi, uh, fungi type of bacteria or something like that. Um, uh, and the molasses feeds, like, a different, uh, different kind of bacteria. So, that should be good. Um, and then the last thing I have is, uh, some Roots Organics, um, Organism XL, um, which is just, uh, my, my Coriase. Um, and some trichoderma and some other beneficial bacteria so um, it's supposed to be good to aerate this before you put it in so I'm just gonna put it all in this bucket right here this is about four gallons of water for uh, four plants um, just gonna let this sit though overnight um, so yeah just let me go ahead and get started I'll just mix it up start by putting, uh, a couple handfuls of worm castings in this strainer bag That's good, just a little bit like that. We'll save some of for later. Right Alright, just toss that in there. I should have put that in the last, but whatever. I'll still be able to mix it up. Um, mix. Just go with a little bit of humic acid. Uh, probably about four teaspoons, I guess, since it's four different gallons. Probably use a little bit more than that, but uh, I don't really have that much, so probably won't end up buying more of this just because it's not really necessary. Um, so I'll just use this teaspoon measure right here. One, two, three, and four. 
the molasses. Um, let's see, I'll put in probably like two tablespoons um, for four gallons. Um, you know, maybe even less, maybe just like a teaspoon or so. Um, this is watered down to 50% uh, water, 50% molasses. It's just boiled. Uh, it makes it a lot more soluble and um, it mixes better in the water. All right, and four oceans plus. Speed this up. Show you just how I mix it up. Um, less than a teaspoon. I guess this is supposed to be for uh, for five gallons. One teaspoon would be for uh, five gallons. So I'll just do a little bit less. And this is uh, Roots Organics. This stuff was like 15 bucks, um, but I've heard you can get uh, probably like, I don't know, like, I heard the Humboldt version of My Corsier is supposed to be some really good stuff. And then there's like Great White, um, Great White Shark, Nutrients, which is the same thing. Um, that's a little bit more expensive though, so this one was like 15 bucks online. It's by Aurora. I've heard it's pretty good, so I'll try it out. And then, oh, I also got another kind of mycorrhizae, which is called, uh, yeah, I just farted right there, actually. Another kind of mycorrhizae, which is called uh, uh, MycoGrow, which is off of fungi.com. Um, it seems to be a pretty good price. It was only like six bucks for an ounce. This was 15 for four ounces. So that seems like a little bit cheaper, but um, I don't think this is as concentrated as some of the other ones. So I'll put like two tablespoons in. Of this for uh, four gallons of water. Jesus, I think it's fucking gnarly looking. Thick and black. Alright. Let's just show you this really quick. I'm just gonna mix it up. I'll be done with this video. Oh, and one more thing I wanna put in uh, this the container. This is just uh, uh, vitamin B1. It's for roots. Um, it's for like starting clones out and. Uh, um, just like plants that don't have a lot of roots. Um, as you can see right here, I have my little tomato plant just doing a little experiment with. Um, I dipped it in some B1 with water and um, I just cut it like a couple hours ago. Um, but yeah, I could probably get this to root. I'm just going to try it out. Maybe stick it on my windowsill for a little bit. It's just a tomato plant. Um, but yeah, you, could, you can do this with any kind of plant. I mean, you don't have to have that rooting clone shit that they... Uh, I try to sell you for like fucking forty dollars a a container, but I mean it's cheaper than that. You can get some some rooting solution for like eight bucks, I think, at a, at a nursery, which is like powdered usually. But I don't know. Some of these places try to sell you like some uh, some really nice rooting gel. Um, but I mean, if you really if you're gonna try to clone a hundred plants and you want you know all hundred of those plants, they they argue that some of their stuff has like a ninety eight percent success rate or a hundred percent success rate. So you might want to add some vitamin. Or, uh, you might want to get some rooting gel. Or, for right now, I'm just going to add some vitamin B1 to this. Get this started. Uh, just add like two tablespoons, maybe. Um, sorry, I'm not really getting a clear picture here, but as you can see, this is bubbling. I mean, I'm about to mix it up just after I add this B1. Get my little whisk right here and mix it up. A 
Alright, I'll probably just get to mixing that a little bit better. But uh, yeah, you guys have uh, fun growing. And uh, tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to post a video on um, my plants updating. Um, they're probably like, I don't know, a foot tall right now. My church is like a foot tall. It's been topped though. So, I mean, it's it would probably be about two feet, maybe two and a half feet if uh, it wasn't topped. Um, but yeah, just trying to keep them short for right now. Alright, you guys have fun. Later.